Printing out two big designs onto one DTF transfer sheet has never been easier using CAD Link. So in order to make this work, let me show you the rules that you must follow. So this is an A3 transfer. Both of your designs must be small enough to fit in between the dimensions of this page, which is a 11.7 by 16.5. So if you have two designs, the maximum width that they can go across is about 11.7 inches, maybe 11.5 inches. And the maximum height for both of these designs should be maybe seven inches up and down and another seven inches up and down, which will take up about 14 inches of space on this page. You can also follow this same rule if you have multiple small designs, you can put them all next to each other going across and up and down on the page. So now we are going to import the images that we want to put on the same page into CAD Link. So you want to select the appropriate page size that you're using in CAD Link. So we're using a DTF A3 sheet. And now I'm just uploading our first design here. So here at the bottom, you can see our current dimensions that we changed our first design to, and now we're gonna upload our second design. So now when we have uploaded our second design, it will be on a separate page. It should go to a page maybe directly underneath. So if we go by our first rule, both images must be small enough to fit onto the same sheet. So I am just going to adjust this image here to make it a size that can fit directly underneath our image that is up here at the top page. So I have just adjusted our image to be small enough to fit directly underneath our image up top. This image here is 5.90 by 6.08 inches. So remember that whichever designs that you choose to use and the size you plan to press onto your garments must both equal a size that is the same or smaller than your DTF transfer sheet for them both to fit. So now our designs are ready to be merged together onto the same page. So if you click this tab right to the left of the job tab, you'll see this nest all feature here that is located in the page tab. So when you go to nest the page, you'll see this automatic nesting message that states nesting all content will cause all current layers to be lost. So now once you confirm yes to the nesting all, you'll see that your design has been sent to the same page as your original design. And from here, you can move this design around on the page freely. And maybe if you had a design that was small enough to fit to the right in this empty space, you would be able to fit a third design. So I will be adding this last logo here just to show you how to fill in that extra space. So now we will nest all again. And now our last design has been moved over onto the same page. And now we have all three designs on the same page. So this is good for maximizing your DTF transfers. That way you can get the most out of your transfers without wasting the excess by just printing only one design. You could print separate designs onto the same page. So now you can just click the top page, which is the original page that you merged all your designs into. And then I'll print this out and show you the final result. This is our final result after printing our transfer. As you can see, all of our designs were successfully merged onto one page. This is how you can utilize the maximum space on your DTF transfers and get the most out of each sheet.